like just remembering that is. Oh. Oh, hey, everybody. It's me, Susan Blackwell. <laughs> and today I'm side by side my favorite Broadway love muffin basket from Come From Away. Look, everybody, it's Jen Colella. Hi, everyone. Jen Sturz, tell our friends at home where we are and what we are doing. We're at the beautiful Bond 45. The new Bond 45. The new Bond 45 on 46. Dig it. Today, we are having some good times and some good food at Bond 45, mm -hmm. and we're having book club. We're having book club. We are. And we were just discussing our book of the month. <laughs> this was your pick. This was my pick. Tell us about this book and why you picked it for our book club. So I chose The Mastery of Love by Don Miguel Ruiz, uh, who also wrote The Four Agreements. You heard um, of that, right? Another great one. Mm -hmm. um, and I chose this because I actually hadn't read it in several years, and I wanted to come back to it. Uh, it's a great book about your love relationship with yourself and therefore your love relationship with those closest to you. What is the biggest lesson that you learned from this book, book club? I think the biggest lesson that I took away from the mastery of love is choosing love rather than fear. Oftentimes humans are in the habit. <laughs> Man. That, that was, is, that's that was a good perfect. One. That was a good hit. Will you do that again? 30 second life story. I'm going to put 30 seconds on the clock and you're going to tell me your life story. 30 seconds, starting now. I was born in a small town called Somerville, South Carolina, just outside of Charleston, South mm. Carolina, and there wasn't a lot of theater, but I um, would like do odd jobs around this lady's house so I could play Gertie in Oklahoma in her garage. That was the only theater available. And then I went to a small private all women's um, school and I, I got my undergraduate degree there and then I joined a rock band and then I was part of the only professional theater in South Carolina and then three years later I went to get my master's degree at the University of California, Irvine. Mm. And then I did stand up in Los Angeles and then I was called to the Broadway for Urban Cowboy, the musical. And then 15 years later, I got my first Tony nomination. A super bonus, what is the name of that autobiography? Scoots Colella scooting around. Weirdo. Yes. Dance for Grandma. Did you ever put on like little, I know you did the shows in the garage, did you ever put on little shows for your family, for your mom? Um, sometimes, <laughs> you know, when I, oh God, not, yes. I was into like gangster rap, like early on. <laughs> yes, tell me more. <laughs> and what? so I would start to, I, I really was into like, you know, Easy e and, and. Age-ish? What age? I would say, you know, 12, 13 years old. And so my mom didn't want to hear it because it was all very, it was tough, it was all, you want her. a little bit of it? You're going to have to bleep out a lot of it. Wow. You ready? Yeah. Easily I approach the microphone because I ain't no joke. Tell your mama to get off of my tip. I have no time to give her my dick. I'm going to hold it. What? And walk around the stage and if you're up, I'm going to get my gauge and unload my barrel and laugh because I'm putting lead in your mother ass psychopathic the hoes are attracted because when i'm on hard my dick's at least a yard back in the days i was a nut but now I, okay i should stop there because then it gets really really bad oh then it gets worse really bad that is so my mom was like no jennifer lynn no 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 but i was like this is my freedom of expression what the what jen you're in a broadway musical called come from away and it's a big what what the what is that like what the what it's extraordinary I've you know I've never had the great opportunity to be in such a smash hit and so it feels amazing every day you are in a, a smash hit smash. people of the show yes have you ever had such devoted fans no the show has very devoted fans they really and rightfully do. so they really really do we have a fan who's come her, I think 123 was last night she has come from away tattooed on her back. She has lyrics to my song in my handwriting on her back. Let's just cut to the chase and say that you and I will make out at a charity benefit. We like to make out. Just a little bit of that. <laughs> she's so good. Her lips are so soft and she's a good listener, which is what I think makes a good kiss. God, oh, I love this our, shot of us. I love this shot. And you'll notice from the different haircuts, a variety of charity <laughs> events. So if you'd like us to earn a little money for your charity, we'll come, we'll make out hard. So hard. We'll just shoot a porno for your charity. You um, know who else is a good kisser? I tell people all the time that you're a good kisser and Andy Carl. 
Andy Carl, you say? Great kisser. Really? Phenomenal. Would you say of all your co-stars that Andy Carl is the best kisser that you've kissed? I've had some good ones. Who else? Well, Matt Cavanaugh, Will Chase. Um, they're all now, different. Now, don't just say every co-star you've had. No, these are two. No, these are like the sexy. Like, legit. These are, oh, my God. Yeah. Marin Ireland. Really good. Now I feel like you're cheating on me. Um, I understand. No, but what it, tell me more about Andy Carl. Well, Hi, Orfe. Hi. <laughs> what up, Orfe? All cool, definitely within the realm of rehearsing Slut the Musical. Um, I just remember okay. we had to kiss, and we were so buddies. We're bros. And so it was kind of like, all right, we're going to do the kiss. And then we did the kiss, and he was like, Kalel's. And I was like, Carl's. Like, it was, it was so good. I heard something about you, and I want to see if it's true. Can I touch your arm? Yeah. It's true. <laughs> Who have you been talking to? If you go to touch Jen Kvall's arm, she will flex. If you're a lady. What the what? If you're a lady. If you're a lady. Mm -hmm. I heard it from a lady. Mm -hmm. What's that about? It's, I, I don't know. I like, to, I like to feel strong for the ladies. <laughs> They'll try to catch me on stage. They'll like walk by and touch me. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Do you really? I mean, I've calmed down a little bit now. Um, but I think it's fun. I love it. You shit the bed <laughs> in an audition for Kathleen Marshall. <laughs> what the what happened? Um, I really did shit the bed. What uh, happened? I, I don't know. I was so nervous. What I wanted was it for? to do so well. It was for nice work if you can get it. Okay. I did not. <laughs> um, and I was singing Don't Rain On My Parade. And um, it was going well uh, until I, I had some cutlets in, chicken like cutlets. Like a boob enhancer. Like a little boob enhancer. Yeah. Um, and it was a hot day, and one of them started to slide I'm down <laughs> my... <laughs> right? Sure. It's awful. And so like a boob down as here. I was singing, I just gave it a tuck here. And then I thought, well, that looks silly. So I'm, so I'm just, gonna give him a little Fosse. I'm gonna pull up the other one. Not like Fosse T Rex. Like I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, now I've got both of them. And I'm like, I'm gonna live and live now. Get what I want. I know how. One roll for the whole. And I realized I was doing this, and so my mind was elsewhere. Shabang, one throw, that bell will go clang. Eye on your mother, some plam. Shoe fat, your mom's cat, and wham! <laughs> and I stopped because I realized what just flew out of my face. And I said to Kathleen Marshall, I think I've just had a stroke. And she said, I think so too. <laughs> and I was like, see at the callback. <laughs> <laughs> so Jen picked this book for our book club, mm -hmm. but you don't always get to pick the book. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get to pick the book. Mm -hmm. So for um, our next book club, <laughs> We're going to go with Surgery of the Anus, Oh, I love this. Rectum the fourth colon. edition is the best. Fourth edition is the best edition. Yeah, it's um, clear. Some of you might remember this from, we picked this up on when we spent time with Norbert Lero Butts. So there are people that are already fans of this book, but uh, this brings me to our next game, which is a game I like to call Trading Pictures. Trading Pictures! This is how the game works. I'm just going to pick a picture. Oh my god. And then I'm going to show it to you. Camera won't see it, they'll just see your reaction. Mm. Okay. Trading pictures. Why? Why are we doing this? If you're playing along at home, that's page 527. Why would you do page that? Page 527. Now you pick a picture. You're such an ass. I got one. Okay. You ready? Go. Yeah. Here we go. Oh no, why would you show me that? This is your game. If you're playing along at home, that's page 281. Don't play along at home. I don't know what this is, but it's not good. <laughs> this isn't good. Oh no, that's bad. That's page 569. That's why I'm gay. Guess what time it is? What time is it? Oh, I got your nose and it's time for Susan's Fantasy Jukebox. You can have it back, but first you have to sing me a song. Okay. Why are you worrying, baby, baby? Don't say no when you can say maybe. You know all your little problems gonna crumble at your feet. Don't you worry no more. Take 
the time to see what you feel in your heart and no don't worry no more i'll take the time to love a lot lot you're asking questions mm -hmm. you can have your nose back but you have to keep singing no. this has been oh, another amazing episode oh, side by side by susan blackwell no. with broadway's oh, jen Cuella. go see her and come from away you will not be sorry that you did a goodbye Trumpet. It's really good.